Good afternoon everyone, welcome to another vlog. Um, I'm starting this vlog on a Monday, which makes a lot of sense. It is Monday the 11th, and it is 20 to 2 in the afternoon. I've been in work this morning, as you may be able to tell. And of course, classic Monday, I'm in work in the morning, and work in the evening, and I get the afternoon off. Um, but I normally work on some kind of video related thing today. Now, cool thing about today is I've got today's video totally sorted that you guys have already seen, obviously. It is the, the Skype conversation that I had with Will the Plank, where we had all that exciting Mac Pro um, happenings, which was a result of um, a combination of one of my graphics cards dying and the KVM switch um, having a faulty connection to the power because of the stupid European socket um, European sockets aren't stupid, but the adapters that convert them for the UK sockets are stupid. So I, I should really get a, uh, a UK transformer. Um, but basically, I am at a bit of a loose end this week. I don't have any solid plans. Um, now basically what's been happening is, I've had family staying over, and that's a big contributing factor as to why I, I haven't been finishing the Hackintosh, um, or doing part five of the Hackintosh. You guys may have seen it by now, but I doubt it. Um, actually, these clothes are going in the wash. Um, but yeah, that's a big contributing factor because I need a lot of time and, and you know quiet and space and stuff like that. And it's been really great seeing my siblings and stuff. You know, I haven't seen my sister in so long, and that, and she's she's been for a great visit. And I believe this week the visiting is coming to a close. So by next week. Um, life will be back to normal a little bit around here. Sorry about that everyone, I thought I heard a noise. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, life will be getting back to normal by next week, which is, which is really great. Um, oh, I'm gonna pause it one more time. Right then, if I can actually get a conversation going with you guys here. Um, basically, oh, as I was saying, next week, by next week everything will hopefully get back to normal. Um, which means I can continue with my plans, because I do have various plans. Now, I'm hitting a stage where I've got a couple of things to do. I've got this wedding video to do, and I'll show you the supplies in a second. And I've also got a couple of other things to be done that aren't YouTube related. But YouTube, my main goal is to complete the Hackintosh, get part five out. But the problem I'm facing at the moment is that's only one video. Part five is one video, and then bang, the Hackintosh is done. Other than doing extra videos on it in the future, which I don't want to do for a good few weeks after part five anyway, just to give the series enough time to, to materialize and you know become a, a, nice, a nice chunk um, in the YouTube world. I want to give it plenty of time first, um, and then I'll do like a, you know, a, a Q&A about it or whatever. Um, but what am I getting at? Well, I'm getting at the fact that I don't have much content ideas or many content ideas for after the Hackintosh is complete. Now, yes, I've got loads of ideas with the server and the setup and everything, but they all involve money. And if you guys may have noticed, I've been spending a lot of money um, these this year. You know, with, within the space of six months, I've got a brand new setup, you know, an overhauled setup with loads of new components, a brand new Hackintosh, um, a, a Retina MacBook Pro server setup, you know, all sorts of things, and that doesn't even count the stuff that I've done off of the channel. Um, so I've been spending a lot of money. I, I've, my expenditure this year is is big so far, um, which is fine, you know, because I need all of this stuff to continue in the future. But what I'm saying is. I'm gonna have to think up some ideas for videos that do not involve me spending money because I was scrolling down my channel and when I used to do say one video a week or one video every two weeks, normally it was about something new, talking about something new, new product, new computer, new something. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of turning things around now and I'm able to make videos about getting rid of stuff. So it's almost the opposite of getting new stuff. Um, I don't want to bore you with loads of talking in the beginning of this vlog, guys, but it's becoming obvious to me that lots of you watch them all the way through, which is which is really great. Um, so I'm going to go downstairs and get some lunch, but as you can probably tell, I'm in a talkative mood, and I'm also slightly panicked. I'm actually, no, that's a lie. I'm not, I'm not at the stage of panic yet. I'm just... A little bit concerned, that's all, with my lack of ideas. And I'm going to have to get into something that, um, get another video series on the go, or at least two video series on the go, 
that doesn't involve spending money. And the eBay series is great, vlogging is great, and you know, vlogs are nearly getting to sort of one a week now, and that's just naturally materialized over time. Um, you know, things like Q and A's and stuff like that don't involve me spending money, but I've got to have things to make these videos about. Um, so if anyone has any suggestions, as always, feel free to post them in the comments. Um, sort of suggestions as to a new series I could try, something I've never done on the channel before or something like that would be really great. Um, something that can fill quite a void, if I'm honest. Um, I'm not saying I'm gonna stop buying products completely, um, you know, but I've got to calm down with the spending a little bit. So I do have a few cool ideas coming up actually involving around a couple more computer builds or something that doesn't involve me spending much money because I there is something with the spare parts gaming PC coming up. So I think that's the next thing I'll do after Hackintosh part five. That's the spare parts gaming PC and the server stuff is going in the background. So I have plenty of stuff to make videos about. Um, just not loads and loads of stuff really. So yeah. Also, before I forget to mention it, I'd like to say thank you to everyone for your camera suggestions in the last vlog. As you guys know, the last vlog heavily revolved around the camera, and this may indeed be the last vlog with this Fujifilm camera. Um, not the last video, the last vlog, because this camera is great for any shot that I need with wide angle, or any, you know, macro shot. It's the only camera I've got capable of that kind of thing. The only camera I've got capable of easy manual focus, so it really has its place in my um, collection um, of cameras, you know, in my supply, my camera supply. Um, but I've been speaking to Christian and I do have another camera on the way, um, which is great. Now, the camera, I'm not gonna reveal what it is. It's not a ridiculously popular model, but it may or may not be good for vlogging, we'll have to see. Neither I or Christian know if it's gonna be any good for vlogging. Um, but either way, it should be brilliant as part of my collection. Um, for it, it will widen my variety of videos achievable because of how small it is and um, how it's designed. You know, around um, it's it, it's designed with the same mindset as the GoPro in mind. You know, small and robust and easy to carry around and stuff. So whether it's good for vlogging or not, I have no idea. Would be great if it is, but if not, then I really don't mind buying like a Canon S120, which is what I really think I may buy, um, depending on what this new camera is gonna be like. And then that'll be it for me for cameras. I'll have my Panasonic camcorder for all my camcorder needs, but it'll get rare use because it'll be the only one that records in 1080i, which um, creates a bit more hassle for editing. Um, so my main cameras will be this one, along with the Canon S120, um, point and shoot, which is ideal for vlogging, you know, G7X or whatever it's called would be brilliant, but you know, it's three times the price or double the price, so I can't afford that. Um, so yeah, this one, the Canon that I may possibly get, and this future camera that may be coming from Christian very soon. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely in the process of, of doing it, and out of the cameras that everyone has suggested, I do think the S120 still is like the best one, but Christian has managed to, has managed to get a hold of this camera, which is really great. So I'll see what that one's like for vlogging. Um, it's very small and compact and lightweight, so it ticks a load of boxes right there anyway. But guys, um, yeah, I need to go and make some food. As you guys know, I went downstairs to do it, but I totally procrastinated. But before I make some food, I'll show you the supplies that I have got. So here I am on this um, Monday afternoon. I've got my Retina MacBook Pro here. Um, because I was actually uploading my video on it last night, believe it or not, because I didn't spend last night here. And, um, yeah, that is the video that will be released today with Will the Plank. Um, and that video, I actually decided to upload it uncompressed for a laugh to see how long it would take, and it took absolutely ages. Um, but anyway, basically I'm chilling out here. I've got some stuff left over from my bike ride yesterday. But this is what I want to show you guys. I have got... All of my supplies here ready to make my wedding videos and this is what I need to get cracking on today um, or maybe start tomorrow. I've got new printer ink because I've run out of both black and colour and I've also got 20 full size DVD cases, 20 light scribe DVDs and 20 DVD case covers. I showed you guys some of this in the last vlog but I've now got everything I need 
you know, including the discs, because I ordered the wrong amount of discs initially. But I've got everything I need. I believe they want 15 or 16 copies initially, um, or 10 copies or something. I can't even remember now. I'll have to look at my um, little sheet that I have. But guaranteed, they'll always want more copies. So that's something to keep in mind. In terms of the edit of the actual video, the edit will be a very quick job. And I believe it's in 720p, recorded in 720p, so um, not much strain on the old Mac Pro, but it could be 1080. I know that the camera they used to film it is capable of 1080, um, but I shouldn't imagine that it was filmed in 1080. I've already imported the footage, actually. I just can't remember for some reason. So the edit will take a very short amount of time. What will take the time is the burning and the printing, because I've got to do everything individually, and it's three stages per, per copy. That's the burning of the disc, the light scribing, and also the DVD cover. Um, so I assume it's literally going to take maybe about half an hour per copy, so that will be the time-consuming thing. But once I get into a flow, I'll be great. One more little thing that I'm going to mention before going for food, guys, um, is I've got a bit of a problem. It's not a massive problem, but it's a bit annoying. I need to transfer about 1.6 terabytes of data from one drive to another in my Mac Pro. And then on top of that, I need to transfer a further 3.6, uh, 3, 360 gig onto that drive to make it nearly full. It's a two terabyte drive. It's a two terabyte green that I want to take out the machine, put into one of these. Oh, bloody hell. Put into one of these. This is an anti-static drive storage box. Label it up and put this away safely. This is my plan, right? Because I don't want lots, all, all of this data that's currently active and spinning up every time my machine boots up, I don't want it. So I will be ordering another green drive maybe today, if I can bring myself to do it. Um, and I will be using both of those green drives to store a load of stuff on. Um, now, the problem I have is, when I do a big transfer like that, it slams out my Mac Pro um, the SATA bus. So when it comes to editing 1080p, I'm constantly getting beach balls in Final Cut, which is so massively annoying. You can't get a video out. You can't export a video effectively, um, edit a video effectively, when every time you press play you get a beach ball because you're spinning up that hard drive to copy a load of data off of it. Um, it wouldn't, be, wouldn't have been a problem before because I left my machine running all the time when I didn't have the server set up and I could just copy it overnight. But now I power down in the night and I don't like to have my machine powered up in the night because that's a lot of stuff powered up all night. Um, so I would love to get the transfer going. I did start it yesterday. I had to cancel the whole transfer, um, which was a bit of a shame. But yeah, I need to get that data offloaded onto, you know, into one of these cases. And I'm debating whether to start a big transfer now and get all of that stuff happening. But one thing I need to order today as well is a hard drive dock. And that's what I've learned from yesterday. Um, I need a hard drive dock, so I will be ordering that today. I'll probably order the dock and another two terabyte green. I've decided to use two terabyte Western Digital Caviar greens for archival purposes. And when I say archival, I literally mean archiving the data, putting it on the drive, taking the drive out of the dock, putting it into one of these and leaving it on the shelf. I've decided to use greens because they're cheap and relatively reliable. Um, it's a waste of time using anything more expensive and I don't need sort of NAS grade drives because they won't be spun up all the time. So the added expense won't be, you know, it'll be worthless. Um, so yes, I'm gonna, that, that is my plan. I don't have a nice shelf set up at the moment to store the drives, but I'll just be very careful with them and keep an eye on them. Um, and they won't, they won't be backups of them at the moment, unfortunately. When I get more money, there will be. Um, but they're basically old Final Cut libraries. Two terabytes. I got four terabytes worth of old Final Cut data that I do not need on my system that I want to get stored away in these cases. So, with that out of the way and that, that explanation out of the way, I will think on doing that and uh, go and make myself some food. So everyone, I've had some food and I've started transferring some stuff um, it's going to take about an hour, so that's okay for me to get cracking on making today's video. I can film it with this transferring in the background, and hopefully it'll be done by the time I come to edit it, or at least close to that time. Um, I also thought of another really cool thing as well. I'll probably need to do another big transfer later, so I can leave my Mac Pro on while I go to work, and then shut down my Mac Pro when I come back from work, which is a really good idea, I think. Um, I will be ordering another green drive today, but one of them is a straight transfer. I've got a two terabyte chunk of data, um, on an external hard drive that's currently plugged into my server 
um, ready to be archived onto a um, onto a green drive to go on the shelf. I can plug the dock into my server and leave that two terabyte transfer going for as long as it takes, which is um, really great. Um, I just feel bad about. I feel really anxious about buying brand new drives and then just copying a load of data onto them and then not having the data um, if the drives fail. But pfft, whatever. Um, I'll, I'll keep all of my exports and stuff backed up. It's just the raw, the raw footage. Really, I can't keep two copies of raw footage. I just don't have enough money. Um, but yes, this transfer now is freeing up um, the drive that I want to keep in my Mac Pro and transferring stuff onto the, the green that's currently in the Mac Pro that will be coming out and being put onto a shelf. So I'm feeling generally positive about all of my data and how I'm moving it about and everything and I'm, I'm getting there. I'm slowly getting there. Right then guys, quarter to four. The transfer is finished and I now have much more available space on my scratch disk which isn't actually meant to be my scratch disk which is all well and good. Um, yeah, so data management is going a little better. Still got a lot of transferring to do, but I've got rid of all of the old Final Cut libraries off of my current scratch disk that don't need to be there, offloaded onto that two terabyte green. The only thing I need to do is cherry pick the things that are on that green that I need on the system, and I need to copy that back over to the two terabyte black, which is currently empty. So a little bit more work to do. Um, Currently doing not a lot, if I'm perfectly honest with you guys. I've got to do a video tomorrow. I'm now thinking of posting this vlog as tomorrow's video um, to see what happens, or maybe save it for Wednesday, I'm not too sure, but I definitely need to record a video about something else anyway. I just need to find out what. So it's 5 p.m. I finally managed to record a nice little video. Um, I actually came up with the idea really quickly. This video was on a little list of videos that I wanted to record. A little list that I forgot about, so that kind of saved my ass. It's about this cool little mini ITX board. And you guys have seen the video by now, obviously it was uh, yesterday's video for you or something like that, depending on when I upload this vlog. Um, but it's a great little board, and as you guys see it boots up and, and stuff, it works fine. These are all the drives that I tested. One of them had Windows on, but it would not boot. I didn't really expect it to, um, but it's five o'clock now. It's not a very long video. Footage is importing, so I'm going to begin editing. It is getting absolutely boiling in here for some reason, guys. Um, but while the video exports, after I've finished editing it, I will be packing up all of that stuff and putting the drives back into that box and just tidying up after myself. I always make a little bit of a mess when I make a video. Well, guys, it is five to six and I just fell asleep editing this video, believe it or not. I've been sleeping for about 20 minutes. A text message woke me up, um, so I'm going to finish it up tomorrow and upload it tomorrow because for some strange reason mm -hmm. I am absolutely knackered and I have no idea why I slept great last night. I'm just tired, it's just tiring. It was good though, I like a good little nap, I haven't had one of those in so long. So yeah, I'll finish this up tomorrow, I'm way too tired right now. All right guys, rushing a little now, just finished dinner. Oh man, that sleep, it was good, but it's really like rushed me now. I'm all over the place. Um, oh crap, yeah, I gotta leave for work now, so I'm gonna have to pretty much rush. I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Today has just gone pretty crazy actually. <laughs> Bit of a weird one, but yeah, anyway, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning everyone, it is Tuesday and um, it is, oh. 8.17 in the morning, um, so I have just finished editing the video that I'm uploading today, which is all about the mini ITX board. I don't know what happened yesterday, I was halfway through editing and I just fell asleep. I was really tired, and in fact I'm quite tired now. I think I'm still recovering from my weekend um, full of cycling, which is the weekend that I've just had. You know, I did, I did two massive bike rides, well massive considering that I don't um, cycle that often anymore, so I really can't wait to get back into it so that it doesn't take all of this energy out of me. Um, but yeah, I'm getting picked up at 9 to go to work this morning. Um, so I hope this exports in time so that I can start uploading it, but I doubt it will because it's got to go through handbrake as well. Having said that, it's only a 15 minute video, so it may go up in time, you never know. Um, it would just be pretty handy, that's all, but it's no biggie. I'll be back from work at around 12, 1 o'clock, so I can just set it to upload then. That's no worries. So everyone, it is... Let me update you. 
quarter past six and I've got my video uploaded successfully which is great the mini ITX board unfortunately since filming the video I've actually discovered quite a bit more about this board um, which is always a shame because then people repeat what you've already discovered in comment sections and it can get quite frustrating but it's not the viewers fault it's you know my fault for not um, for learning things after the video but anyway um, I've had a day out with the family today it's been really nice um, pretty chilled this evening I did have sort of nothing planned but I do have someone coming up to work on a video with me um, a non YouTube related video so I'm just gonna tidy up the room get another seat down make sure everything's a little bit presentable so that I can work with him on this video um, hopefully get it finished tonight and out of the way and yes feeling a little bit lazy today but I have been for the past couple of days so that's okay um, got work again tomorrow in the morning and the evening not sure what I'm doing tomorrow afternoon yet um, but I'll probably have to make a video um, we'll see how everything goes I've still got the mini ITX board set up with the monitor and stuff on the side here um, I haven't taken it down yet so maybe I can do something with that but I'll probably choose something different we'll see what happens what's up everyone it is Wednesday it is 2.30 in the afternoon and I am chewing through these days with this vlog um, yesterday I can't even remember what happened to tell you the truth can't remember the last clip I filmed um, but it's been pretty hectic it's gonna be a pretty hectic week but it's cool you know everything is cool um, it's all good it's not the most interesting week put it like that but it's hectic so that's all good plenty to keep me busy um, you'll probably be seeing this vlog today because what I'm gonna do now is launch open a Final Cut project and start editing it together um, and then seeing how much I've got, seeing how far I've got with the vlog. Um, I've got work later, usual drill, I'll be leaving here about 6 o'clock. Uh, but we will be opening up the Mac Pro in a minute to sort out my optical drives because I still haven't done the jumper settings. Um, so I'll do that in this vlog also. But first I'm going to get some editing out of the way. So we'll see how this goes. And I've still got the mini ITX board and whatnot sitting there, still haven't cleared it away. So I've just finished editing the 22 minutes that you guys have just seen and that took me about 35 minutes so it is now six minutes past three that gives me, I'm just going to shut down my Mac Pro, that gives me plenty of time to tidy up my room so get rid of that mini ITX stuff, give my room a general tidy, swap around my jumper settings on my optical drives and maybe even start fiddling with this red wedding video, I really should have started it sort of Monday um, but hopefully I can get it done by early next week. Um, yes, a lot of rambling, but... Oh, God, shut down. Okay, whatever, shut down. I need to fiddle with these optical drives. I'm not making a dedicated video about it. I've been getting a lot of complaints recently. Well, I wouldn't say a lot. Um, I've been getting some complaints that some of the content is quite repetitive. Um... Which is fair enough, it's a fair comment, but the, the, what people have to realise is, it's a choice. I either make five videos a week and it's a little bit repetitive because who the hell has different variety in their life every day? You know, you'd have to be really lucky to have that. Most people's lives are pretty the, pretty the same from day to day. Um, or you get one video a week or two videos a week and obviously you get less of the samey stuff, but you get less of it. So, um, I don't know, some people like some lots of people like different things it's not my fault but yeah let's dig out the Mac Pro ah we are all shut down and what feels like the millionth time in the last like feels like about the last day to be honest I'm unplugging my Mac Pro from everything yet again um, which is quite a nightmare to be honest guys I really I hope this is the last time now actually it won't be I need to take some change out some hard drives soon after I've done all of my transfers but I can normally do that from the side door there's enough clearance between this and my radiator to allow me to do that but that's everything unplugged from the Mac Pro and the cool thing is about the Hackintosh I can just swing it out of the way without unplugging it so everyone um, I've got my optical drive thingy my bob out and I need to change this one to master it's on cable select at the moment but this drive is pretty bizarre because it doesn't actually have it doesn't actually say where the jumpers go. There's no label on it to say 
about the jumpers, so I'm going to have to look online. Whether it's standard across all IDE optical drives, I couldn't tell you. I've never ran two optical drives in the system before, so it's never mattered. Um, if it is, then the jumper is fine where it is, because it's set to slave, but then it shouldn't be set to slave because it was working in the MDD, so my best bet is to uh, have a look online and see what's going on, but yeah, hopefully I can sort it out, to be honest. Didn't bother researching online, just totally guessed it. Um, and we have upper super drive and lower HL DT ST DVD RAM GH22 NP21, which I assume is the lower drive. And they both work, which is great. And we are all back in and back together, which is always very good. So with that done, guys, I'm probably going to say farewell to you guys. I know it hasn't been the most interesting vlog. Massive apologies. They will get much more interesting, I promise. Um, this is probably the last vlog with the Fuji film, and the next camera, whether I use the one from Christian, which I probably will, or whether I use a Canon S120 or something similar that I end up buying, um, either way, the camera will be a lot more portable, so I can take you to a lot more things. It's just so difficult to take this camera places because of the size. You know, it's it's doable, but it's difficult. So. Vlogs are going to start getting much more interesting and they'll have a whole other level um, to them, but I know some of you just love hearing my daily ramblings. One thing I will say as a quick final note is I fell asleep yesterday, as you guys know, or maybe uh, it was Monday actually at my desk, I fell asleep. Um, and as I was editing this vlog before I fiddled with my super drives and stuff there, I was feeling really lethargic, like really, really lethargic. Um, you know, like ugh, dreary. So I'm kind of hoping that I'm going to be all right. Like I'm really knackered this week. I'm I'm tired and I'm not even doing anything. So I think I will be booking in a week off soon um, in work and in my life. So I'll announce on YouTube a week off and I'll take a week off and just take a week to myself. I don't want to go away anywhere or anything like that. That's just extra stress. I'll take a week off and I'll try my best not to work on anything during the week. Um, I think it's I think it's a healthy thing to do because I'm tired. I am very tired and I'm working a lot. Um and I don't see a massive reward for the work that I do, you know. I'm not on, you know, hundreds and hundreds a day. I'm not even on a hundred a day, you know. It's um it's definitely difficult, but it's okay. I, I I'll I'll get there. I'll get there someday. I will get there. I'm trying my hardest. But anyway, Rambling aside guys, this is exactly what I mean. I'm just tired and rambling on. Hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Um, two more videos left this week. Not sure what they're going to be yet. Um, but I know tomorrow, Thursday, I've got an entire free day. So I'll probably work on the Hackintosh a little bit. Which will prepare you guys for future uploads. Um, yeah, part 5 really. Hopefully, hopefully next week part 5 will be on the channel. So massive thank you for watching this vlog everyone. If anyone has any video suggestions like I keep saying... Please feel free to post them in the comment section. It's not that I'm low on ideas, I just need some inspiration to make some very cheap videos. Um, so any ideas that you've got, feel free to share. Massive thank you for watching everyone, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.